All right, so we are going to set up the environment. So the first thing I want to mention is that, you know, I have this track here and I can see the track and great, but if I want to like look at the track some other way, I need to be able to move around in my scene. And so if you're new to Unity, this can sometimes be maybe a little confusing, which is why we've got that reference card that has, you know, the hotkeys and stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about the version that I prefer, which I know it's, it's, it's a polarizing thing. Some people prefer it this way, some people don't. But what I like to do is with my mouse over the scene window, I like to hold down the right mouse button, which puts me in fly through mode, which allows me just to move my mouse and look around. And also while holding down the right mouse button, I can use WASD to basically just walk around as if I was playing a first person game on a computer. You can do this on trackpad as well, but with a mouse it's definitely It's a lot easier with a mouse. Easier. Yeah. But again, we have this cheat sheet here. Um, so there's also alt middle click to or, or move, uh, alt left click to orbit, zoom, select, that sort of stuff. So there are many different styles in navigating around the scene view. Uh, I just like to point out the fly through mode because that's the way I, I like to move around. But everyone has their own preferences. If at any point I'm wandering around the scene and I'm just totally lost, like I don't know where I am, I can always click on any object in my hierarchy move my mouse over the scene view and hit the F key, which will frame select it, select it, or I can just double click on something in the hierarchy to find it, uh, and then that just moves it to the middle of my screen. So that's just some FYI stuff, that's how I'm moving around. So now I'm gonna begin building up the rest of my scene. So I talked about the, this track being something called a prefab. Uh, it stands for basically a, a prefabricated object, right? It's, it's so, some series of game objects, some game pieces that I've already set up and put together. Now since the purpose of today is learning a lot of new features, we're going to shortcut a lot of sort of basic minimal steps with, with prefabs, just to cut some time out of the day. And so I'm gonna go down to my project view, and then I'm gonna to go to my prefabs folder, bless you, and I'm gonna to go to my environment folder, and then I have a whole bunch of environment prefabs. And I can see some of them have like some graphics, some of them are just blue, uh, but these are just several prefabs I have in my project. And I wanna look for my sand floor, which is basically just a piece of terrain. I can look here in my inspector window and say, just a piece of terrain. The only reason it's a prefab is because I just wanted it to have some starting position in my scene that was known. And again, I could just drag this into my scene view, but I don't really know where that's gonna go. So instead, I'm gonna drag it into my hierarchy, and it's just gonna place it where the prefab is meant to be placed. And I've just got some terrain. This is just Unity's terrain. I could, you know, if I really wanted to, just click on my terrain tools and start sculpting terrain if I really want. I'm, you know, I'm not going to right now, but um, we certainly could. It's just a piece of terrain that's gonna give us sort of this level here. Now, it's kind of basic, so we do want to do some decoration. And so I could, if I didn't want to use a prefab, and if you wanted to see how these things sort of came together, I could go down to my project view and I have this models folder. And in here I have several types of models, rocks and arrow signs and posts and stuff, and I could just drag a rock into my scene and place it. Then I could use the tools that Unity has in the upper left-hand corner, the hand tool, translate tool, rotate tool, scale tool, and rect tool, or hotkeys Q, W, E, R, and T, and I could use that to manipulate this object. So for instance, if I grab my translate tool, I could move the rock, say, into the ground, and then my rotate tool, and maybe do something like that, and then my scale tool uh, to maybe just shrink it down a little bit, and then drag in another piece of ground, and so on and so forth. I just uh, drag in a bush there, and uh, you know, and I could do this and just begin building a scene. Uh, maybe I just want a frame out here, whatever, right? It's just, e it's as easy as just drag and drop, right? And just move stuff around and align it and, and whatever I want to do. Now, I don't want to walk through this whole day of dragging in a hundred of these little rocks, right? And let alone every other thing we need in this scene. So we just created a prefab that has a lot of this stuff already in here and set up. So I'm gonna go to my prefabs folder, to my environment folder, and I have rocks. And I'm just gonna drag that into my hierarchy view. And now I have rocks. And trust me, you did not want to hand place all of these rocks today. All right, that would have taken way too long. But if something is just annoying you, like this rock, you just hate this rock, not just click it, right? You can just move it. It's just, it, just like we were doing the other stuff, you know, just you know, get rid of it. It doesn't really matter. I'm not actually gonna do that. But uh, if for some reason you just despise that rock, then that's fine. Uh, that is entirely up to you. I'll move it back. Okay, so nothing special here. These were just a whole bunch of rocks that were already placed for you so you don't have to sit here and do all that. Now I'm gonna continue on here. 
I've got rocks, now I'm gonna drag in some skyline. So if I, if I look, if I'm racing around, uh, there are parts of the truck that I can be on where it just kind of looks a little fake, right? Like, okay, I can see this mesa here, but there's just nothing behind it. Like the world is perfectly flat beyond this little race course, like even right over here. And so I have this skyline, which I'm gonna again drag into my hierarchy. And what this is, is it's a large cylinder that just has a texture on it that looks like some very distant mountains, right? And so as I'm racing around, all I'm seeing is, oh look, there's some mountains in the distance. It doesn't matter to me that it's a flat texture. I can't tell, it's too far away. But it gives me that sense of depth in my world. I also have some pipes, which I'm gonna drag in here, that just add a little bit of sci-fi flair to our scene. Uh, the pipes don't seem to go anywhere, they just make one giant circle, but whatever, it's sci-fi. Um, so we've got some pipes. I've got some flags, all right, which I was saying yesterday, I really should have added three more of them so we could call them six flags, but we didn't. Uh, and I feel like that's a lost opportunity. Uh, and then finally, and drag in some bushes there. And so now we've got this level with a whole bunch of stuff kind of built into it. And this is great, this looks pretty good. We're gonna continue adding more and more to this. Uh, but if I wanted to say, move all of this or create another scene and have this level in it again or load this scene at runtime or something like that, it would be very difficult right now because of it and all these different pieces that are not associated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn this entire environment into a new prefab which is gonna show us, okay, this is how these prefabs were built to begin with and also allow me to reuse this if need be. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go again to my hierarchy window here and I'm just gonna click the create dropdown. I could also just right click. I'm gonna click the create dropdown and I'm gonna create an empty, an empty game object. And I'll just name this environment. The name of it uh, does not matter, but I'm just gonna name it environment because that seems to make sense. And it's always a good idea to just take our objects, uh, like containers, and just put them at zero, zero, zero at the world origin. It's just good. It makes it easier if you're bringing them in other projects and stuff. And so now what I wanna do is I want to nest, all right, that's the term nest, all of these environment pieces onto this game object I just made. And I'm gonna do that simply. I'm just gonna click on my sand floor and shift click on bushes. I'm gonna just gonna highlight all of these and I'm just gonna drag them onto environment. So now they become children objects of environment, right? So they're all just contained in there. It is great because it allows them to be moved with just this one parent object. It also allows us to organize our hierarchy a little bit so we don't just have thousands of objects in the hierarchy. And so now, if I wanna turn this into a prefab, I'm just gonna click and drag this environment game object down into my project folder. I'm gonna drag it into my prefabs environment folder, but again, the, the folder doesn't matter. The name of the folder doesn't matter. I just need to drag it down here and drop it and then there it is, environment is a prefab. And what's cool about that is if I, you know, in a fit of rage say, oh, I hate my environment, go away, and then I think, you know what, environment isn't so bad, now I feel bad, I can just drag it back in and there it is again, right? And I haven't lost anything because it is the environment. And furthermore, if I were to just start uh, just deleting stuff out of it and I think, oh no, what have I done? I can go back to environment now that it's a prefab and I can say revert and it's just gonna undo all that stuff I just did uh, in a fit of rage. So there we go. It's uh, probably worth mentioning as well that anytime you drag a game object back into the asset folder in your project window, then it will turn into a prefab. It doesn't have to be in the prefabs folder. It's just anytime you bring that game object back down into the assets folder, it will turn it into a prefab 